What's up, world? Welcome back to Radical Investors, where we talk about stocks, crypto, NFTs, and all the ways how to make the money. I'm Wasu, and I'm bringing you guys another video about Board 8 Yacht Club's land drop. They're calling it the they're calling it the other deeds for other sides man we have a lot to talk about so let's just get into the video so as you guys can see the the drop to happen the floor is sitting around eight eth right now it's been a very 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 eventful day you guys this shot out right out of the gate at about 15 eth and it has come down all the way down to about 8 ETH. There's about 36,000 um, uh, K worth of ETH that has been traded for, for this project right here. Um, what an eventful day, you guys. Let's break down some more analytics for this project. As you can see, market cap about 77 million. They've done, um, Yuga Labs have done a really, really fantastic job in creating them their selves value for themselves and they created a lot a lot of money for themselves but we'll talk about some of the problems that we had with the drops if you're out there and you you try to mint some land you probably are well aware of all the things that happened today we'll get into that in a little bit but we just want to go and show some of the analytics of the project as you guys can see um, there's a lot of holders of this project a lot of people got in um, for those of you that actually got some land <laughs> mazel tov congratulations uh, we're really really happy to see that you're making money so let's talk about what actually happened right um you guys are probably aware of this if you're following this project there was a huge gas war so yuga labs decided to change from a ducks auction right to basically just like a um, a free-for-all mint type of situation and what happened was it was basically a gas auction um mint that gas prices went up to as high as 2.5 eth there was a lot of failed transactions a lot of people lost money in the gas war and there was about a hundred million dollars that was lost um or what that went to the ethereum miners right so yuga labs i put this in the failed launch category and i i say it's a failed launch because yuga labs left a hundred million dollars on the table if you compare that to a moon birds that went to a randomized raffle drop right where they gated it at 2.5 eth they captured more value there without a gas war yuga labs could have went to could have went to the same model had instead of 2.5 eth they could have had it at a minimum of 5 10 eth or whatever the case and they would have captured that money anytime you leave 100 million dollars on the table it's bad news so let's talk about what yuga labs actually said so let's read some of these treats we know that the other side mint was unprecedented in its size as a high demand nft collection and that would bring with uh it unique challenges the hope was that those challenges would be assured with these and rigorous gating mechanisms in the form of an on-chain kyc a max of two kyc wallets and a significant clearing price of 305 ape coin it wasn't high enough you had to go higher this has been the largest NFT mint in history by several multiples, and yet the gas used during the mint shows that the demand exceeded anyone's wildest expectation. You knew this was going to be crazy. That's a lie. The scale of the mint was so large that Ethereum ether scanned crash. We're sorry for turning off the lights on ether for a while. It seems, ooh, excuse me. It seems uh the, the eight will need to migrate to its own chain in order to properly scale wow we'd like to encourage the doubts to start thinking about this mm. we're aware that some users had failed transactions due uh to the incredibly de uh, the incredible demand of, of being forced through ethereum's bottleneck for those of you affected we appreciate your willingness to build alongside us know that we've got your back they go on in later tweets to say that they will refund 
um, people that lost the gas war. This is a very, very important set of tweets right here. They basically said Ethereum is trash. We're building our own stuff. And Ethereum is the reason why um, their drop wasn't a success. Now, when I say that, that it wasn't a success, let me back that up. Again, they've raised over $100 million for themselves. People that were able to mint literally can sell the land right now at higher prices than what they bought it at, right? Um, even including the gas. So in some regards, it is a massive success, but in other regards, it was a failure because it leaves, it has left a, a really poor taste in most people's mouths. Um, if you go on Vitalik's e Twitter, right? Because they sent a shot at ETH. And anytime you send, you're, you're fighting in public with um, Vitalik, it's not a good idea. I think it's just kind of stupid and in poor, bad taste, right? Um, where is this? Where is this? Um, where is his tweets on this? We understand. Appreciate it. Uh, 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 so it looks like he might have <laughs> deleted the tweets. Okay, here we go. I, I don't think optimizing a contract would help regardless of the contract details. Tax fees goes up unless the price plus tax fees, the market price. If gas users purchase price decreased to X and the equilibrium gas price would have just been that number instead of that number. So he's basically saying it's all economics. They should have used a better mechanism to actually distribute their NFTs. That's what he's saying. So we go, we go on and we see, we see more people. So, um, she is the co-founder of, uh, Board 8 Yacht Club. Let's see what she had to say. Needless to say, tonight didn't go how anyone wanted it to. I wanted to say sorry to the apes and to everyone else who eagerly looked to join into the project. It's essentially a sour moment since the other side has been a passion project for so long. I remember pacing around my backyard July, talking to Gordon, finishing each other sentence as we conjured the story around acid trip of a world filled with strange hierarchical characters trying to communicate at a, me at a message we couldn't uh, decipher. Had been looking forward to this moment ever since. Just wanted to do right where we can going forward and build the other side with you all. Okay. A lot of mumble jumble basically saying we're sorry, guys. So there you have it. Um, a mixed bag of a lunch. Um, they've raised a lot of money for themselves. But like I said... What they didn't do correctly is they, they left people with a very, very sour taste in their mouths. And that's how brands are damaged, right? When people, the, this, this space moves incredibly fast and you can be on top today and start to slip tomorrow. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to short Yuga Labs, but what I am saying is that having a, a really bad taste, leaving a really bad taste in people's mouths can lead to um, negative effects and we're seeing it in real time with ApeCoin. ApeCoin is down 30%, guys. Down 30%. Um, look at this, right? You see that big dump that ApeCoin just took? Um, we knew it was gonna retrace after the land sale, but hmm. Is this something to look at, guys? Might be a, a place to, to enter. You might want to watch ApeCoin and see if you can find a good entry point. So we'll be watching this all night long to see if it comes back up. But it's we're in for a hell of a ride with the other side and the other side deeds. Um, guys, hit the comment section. Did you get um, another side deed? Are you buying on the secondary? Are you accumulating ApeCoin? Do you think that's going to have a future? We're here for you guys. Like always, happy hunting, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.